good evening and welcome to this week's edition of the Animus Workshop Family Fun Time Quiz for Self-Isolation. I'm your host, Dr. Paul! We've thrown in a few experiments this week, so make sure that you've got your protective equipment. Goggles! Check. Gloves! Check. But enough dilly-dally, enough chit-chat! On with the quiz! All you need to play along at home is a pencil, some paper, and your brain. Now round one. Determine which famous landmark has been removed from each picture. Number one. Number two. Number three. Number four. Number five. Number six. Number seven. Number eight. Number nine.
and number 10. Round two. Question one. What is the name of the bird that looks out for Simba in The Lion King? What is the name of the bird that looks out for Simba in The Lion King? Question 2. Who shot JR on the TV soap opera Dallas? Is it A. Sue Ellen, B. Kristen Shepard, or C. Cliff Barnes? Who shot JR on the TV soap opera Dallas? A. Sue Ellen, B. Kristen Shepard, or C. Cliff Barnes? Question 3. What song was Hugh Grant dancing to as Prime Minister in Love Actually? What song was Hugh Grant dancing to as Prime Minister in Love Actually? Question 4. Which film ended with the line, That'll do, pig. That'll do. Which film ended with the line, That'll do, pig. That'll do. Question 5. Concluding in 2020, how many seasons did the sitcom Modern Family have? Concluding in 2020, how many seasons did the sitcom Modern Family have? Question 6. What was the first feature-length fully animated movie? What was the first feature-length fully animated movie? Question 7. Who played Liberace in the autobiographical film Behind the Candelabra? Who played Liberace in the autobiographical film Behind the Candelabra? Question 8. Which Marilyn Monroe film had the iconic scene with her in a white dress billowing out over a subway grating? Was it A. The Seven Year Itch? Was it B. Some Like It Hot? Or was it C. Gentlemen Prefer Blondes? Which Marilyn Monroe film had the iconic scene with her in a white dress billowing out over a subway grating? Was it A. The Seven Year Itch? B. Some Like It Hot? Or C. Gentlemen Prefer Blondes? Question 9. What is the name of the character played by Dick Van Dyke in Chitty Chitty Bang Bang? What is the name of the character played by Dick Van Dyke in Chitty Chitty Bang Bang? Question 10. 
Question 10. Which actor recently played Eddie the Eagle and Elton John? Which actor recently played Eddie the Eagle and Elton John? Now, round three. Determine which two songs have been mashed together. It's half a point for each correct song and half a point for each correct artist. So that's two possible points per question. And we'll play each track twice. But feel free to go back and have another listen. <laughs>
that had been away Heaven change had much to say But man, I still think them cats are crazy Guess who just got back today Them wild eyed boys that had been away Heaven change had much to say But man, I still think them cats are crazy And the answers for these last three rounds were...
Now would be the perfect time to take a break, but make sure that you add up all of your scores before starting the next three rounds, because things are about to get complicated. Now round four. Now round four. Now round four. Question 1. Ashton Kutcher and... Ashton Kutcher and... Question two, Goldie Horn and Goldie Horn and Question three, Popeye and Popeye and Question four, Napoleon Bonaparte and Napoleon Bonaparte and Question five, Portia de Rossi and Portia de Rossi and Question six, Jim Halpert and Jim Halpert and Question seven, Elizabeth Taylor and Elizabeth Taylor and Question eight, Monica Geller and Monica Geller and Question nine, Cleopatra and Cleopatra and Question 10, Pongo and Pongo and hopefully another dog.
Round five. Question one. Gruyere is a cheese from which country? Gruyere is a cheese from which country? Question 2. Black crim, green zebra and yellow pear are all varieties of which salad ingredient? Black crim, green zebra and yellow pear are all varieties of which salad ingredient? Question 3. Juniper berries go into making which spirit? Juniper berries go into making which spirit? Question 4. Which Greek dip is made from strained or diluted yoghurt mixed with cucumber, garlic, salt, olive oil and often vinegar, lemon juice or herbs? Which Greek dip is made from strained or diluted yoghurt mixed with cucumber, garlic, salt, olive oil and often vinegar, lemon juice or herbs? Question 5. Which flower does the vanilla pod come from? Which flower does the vanilla pod come from? Question 6. Which country produces the most bananas? Which country produces the most bananas? Question 7. What is the Japanese alcoholic drink sake made from? What is the Japanese alcoholic drink sake made from? Question 8. Which Swedish word beginning with the letter S is a term for a buffet style meal with a selection of hot and cold dishes? Which Swedish word beginning with the letter S is a term for a buffet style meal with a selection of hot and cold dishes? And don't worry, there aren't any points for spelling. Question 9. Are there tens, hundreds or thousands of potato varieties? Are there tens, hundreds or thousands of potato varieties? Question 10. The first Red Stripe branded beer was brewed in 1928 and became a staple for which country? The first Red Stripe branded beer was brewed in 1928 and became a staple for which country?
Now round six. This round is the accumulator round. Each question is worth the point of its question number, i.e. Question 1 is worth 1 point. Question 2 is worth 2 points. So on and so forth. But beware! If you get a question wrong, you lose all of the points for this round and end the round with zero points. Which, I mean, no one wants because you want all the points. So make sure you only answer the questions you know to gain the most points! 55 points are up for grabs. Question 1. From which language is the word ketchup derived? From which language is the word ketchup derived? Question 2. Which pair of superheroes are known as the dynamic duo? Which pair of superheroes are known as the dynamic duo? Question 3. Which fictional character is Nintendo's mascot, appearing in over 200 video games since being created? Which fictional character is Nintendo's mascot, appearing in over 200 video games since being created? Question 4. What city was buried by Mount Vesuvius in 79 AD? What city was buried by Mount Vesuvius in 79 AD? Question 5. What is defined by Collins Dictionary as a speech in a play in which a character speaks to himself or herself and to the audience rather than to another actor? What is defined by Collins Dictionary as a speech in a play in which a character speaks to himself or herself and to the audience rather than to another actor? Question 6. What is the world's smallest country? What is the world's smallest country? Question 7. Who wrote the novel To Kill a Mockingbird, published in 1960? Who wrote the novel To Kill a Mockingbird, published in 1960? Question 8. In which European country would you find the landmark the Atomium? In which European country would you find the landmark the Atomium? Question 9. In which cities does the famous Route 66 start and end? In which cities does the famous Route 66 start and end?
Question 10. Who is the largest tyre manufacturer in the world by number of units produced per year? Who is the largest tyre manufacturer in the world by number of units produced per year? Here come the answers. And that's the end of this week's quiz. I hope you scored big because the opportunity was there. And if you didn't, well, just head on back to the beginning and start again because you'll get it right the second time. And due to the changing in the lockdown restrictions, we're going to change our name. We're no longer just for self-isolation. We're just the family fun time quiz. So keep playing with yourself or keep playing with your friends. Either way, we're all playing with each other, and those are the doctor's orders.